Hello everyone, I'm Katana the Lightning Cat. That problem that I've been having with my ISP for the past two and a half, three weeks, it hasn't gone away. It, it started ever since, um, that new company merged or took over them, whatever. I, I don't know all the details of it, but it started then. The, the, this and that and the other. Now it, it won't even let... Out of plugging a, a wire into the back of the, the, the gateway that they brought out, it won't even let me have my console and my laptop on at the same time which it did fine before it even worked rather well with that uh, temporary uh, box that one dude left on their two box solution Every time they go into the thing on their end and try to set the modem up or whatever, it's always something. So now I have to, every time I want to upload a video, I have to take my Xbox completely offline. I can't monitor a stream while recording it anymore, which is just fucking stupid. The problem's on their end, and that last technician that came out just... I mean, come on, dude. I had this problem going on for three weeks, and you're going to say it's my Xbox. When just before you got over here, I was doing just fine. You put the new stuff in. You call in the whatever he calls into. Have them set it up, and it makes it all not work all over again. And if it, if it really were Microsoft, my Xbox wouldn't have been online. I wouldn't have been playing in GTA Online actually recording before you got here. It's, it's on their end. It's something that this new company in charge has done behind everyone's backs. Hasn't told the service reps, the technicians, or anybody involved, including me. Well, that explains why they keep sending uh, text messages almost every day, saying, "How is your service? How is? I don't. I don't want to bother with more surveys." <clears throat> These sweeping changes that are just fucking with everything. I mean, come on. Your service worked fine before. If it ain't broke, don't fucking fix it. It's a uh, lyric in a song by Four Years Strong, YouTuber AV said it, a lot of other people have said it. If it ain't fucking broke, don't fucking fix it. And they've managed to fix everything until it broke. It's just a clusterfuck of dipshitting around just for the sake of fucking with people, really. And if, um, if the FCC doesn't reinstate net neutrality, they're going to wind up with their asses because this this is the end result for the, the user 
after net neutrality goes away. It took some months, didn't it? Yeah, they they tried to do the slow burn, but I'm just not forgetting about it. I kept staying focused. I remembered their shit. I remembered all the possible results I thought of. And this is just one of them. ISPs throttling your connection. Uh, shadow MAC address filtering on your your uh, modem router gateway. Which is exactly what the fuck has happened to me. Worked fine up until another company took over your asses. Charter, Spectrum, whatever you want to call yourselves. Well, this bullshit, if it doesn't stop, like every gamer who's a real gamer, not all these fucking snowflake social justice faggot feminazi whores, real gamers like me who are telling people in the gaming industry, hey, if you don't cut this shit out, EA, Bethesda, yeah, Bethesda's next on the, the gaming industry's chopping block. Then after that, it'll be every ISP and the FCC will be up there in front of Parliament saying, Oh, yeah, yeah, we, we blah, 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 blah. We're just doing what we do. Why don't you leave us the fuck alone, eh? Yeah, well... What you do is extortion, racketeering, and profiteering. So, Ajit Pai, go fucking kill yourself. Make sure it's in a live stream on YouTube so that I can fucking enjoy it, okay? Because, Ajit Pai, you and those other board members who fucking voted to kill net neutrality. Your ass is number three on the chopping block to stand in front of Parliament. You got EA right now. Next, it's Bethesda. Then, it's your fucking asses. Also, hasn't anyone wondered why they're standing in front of Parliament when they're an American-based company? Here's a hint. Look up the acronym BAR. The legal one. You'll see what I'm talking about. This country's a fucking slave colony. Till next time. Bye.